All right, what do we got? All right, guys, we're back at Myers RV. We got Craig with us this time. Austin's with us again. We're gonna talk a little bit about Myers RV, what you guys have to offer. Obviously, we're sunlight, sunray people. We wanna know what you guys have on the lot, what it is that you guys get in, some of your best sellers. We have two behind us. These are both 19s. Yeah. Uh, LTD, one is a bunkhouse, correct? Yep, this yep. is gonna be your correct. bunkhouse. And this one is the rear kitchen. This one's the rear kitchen, and there's another uh, rear bath, correct? You are correct. The third model is the rear bath, again, with the LTD lines, whatever size it is, three different floor plans, same price across the board, okay? Um, right now, this is just a rundown of what Myers RV is. How long have you guys been here? Uh, a little over a year and a couple months. Okay, yeah. we talked about it in the video before. You speak better RV. We purchased our camper here, um, and you guys took over for them shortly after we actually purchased our. Correct. We've been here since October of twenty one at this location, but we do have fifteen total locations. Okay. Been with us for fifty years. Okay. And uh, a little background. Madison, Ohio. Madison, yes. Ohio. Madison, huh? Ohio. Yeah. yeah. Madison, it's called okay. Manor RV. It used to be yes. a Manor, and then they came out here and kept the name. So that's the confusing. Yes. Name. yes. <laughs> um, two former car salesmen. Yes. Just to get a little buy on these guys. Former teacher. <laughs> that makes us look bad. No. It does, it does not. Listen, we wouldn't be here if it was bad. Our people know that. Yes. But um, again, so sun sunset park, uh, sunlight, sun ray. What's your uh, biggest selling model from them that you guys sell out of this location? So I'd say it has to be the 13BD. Actually, as of recently, um, it's been huge for us. So um, probably sold, what'd you say, 15, 10, 15 so far yeah, this year? We, we sold quite a few models at our IX show that okay. would be in January. Uh, very popular, a lot of people just do that under 5,000 uh, pound towing club. Yeah. That seems to be the bread and butter. It's a big deal. Yeah, and when you compare it to a few of the other models that we have under those uh, that weight parameters, I mean, these just uh, stand out. Okay. Compared to other okay. Um, 109, 129, 139, 149, you guys carry all those as well? Yeah, so we actually just sold our last 129. We have another one on order that will be sold as well, but we're gonna be getting tons of inventory in here soon. Um, we got, I mean, what'd you say, we got, yeah, a lot well, of stuff. That was in. the hard part. We had a lot of a lot of the orders that came in were sold. So if you come in our lot, it looks like uh, we don't have any, but that's just because they came in and they went out to their customers and everything. Right. But we do have a lot more that are coming in. Okay. Uh, and, and we just partnered with them recently, and ever since we've had them on the lot, they've just been selling. It's it's definitely a hot a hot uh, item to, to look at. So good, good. The pricing's always perfect with those guys. Uh, Quality's great. Um, relationships great with those guys, and they're they're accessible, easily accessible. Talk to them. You can I can make a phone call right now and get them on the phone. Yeah, <laughs> you know, it's, it's awesome. It's that's the best part about those it. guys. Um, that's what's great about did not dealing with a huge company at times, correct? Oh yeah, very accessible. So we're gonna take a look at this uh, BH it's a bunkhouse. Okay, yeah. let's take it through. This we're gonna give Austin the bunkhouse. We're gonna give Craig the other. <laughs> All right. <Okay. laughs> Bunkhouse. Now we we kind of looked at some of these when we had our rally, right, sure? We did, yes. We did, and I think we did see a, a bunkhouse. Did, was that the one that Bob had at the uh, the rear at the rally? It was either the kitchen. rear kitchen or the bunkhouse. For some reason, I thought it was a bunkhouse, but we got two bunks right here. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now me, first thing thinking, I'm taking the bunk out, or I'm using this as storage because we're not traveling with children. Yeah. We're not traveling with extra <laughs> yet. We're not traveling with extra bodies, but that's always something that when you're looking at a camper, what are you going to do with it? You know, mm -hmm. sometimes it might not be the exact layout you want, or you can look at something like this and say, I could never use the monks, but I could use this for storage. Now, what does that look like? <laughs> She's giving me looks back there. She's giving me looks. <laughs> uh, we got a dinette here. Mm -hmm. Storage underneath, I'm assuming, correct? All yep. of them. We got storage. Yep. We got storage underneath these Whoa. seats. I'm sorry, miss. I'm sorry. <laughs> Got storage underneath the seats, air conditioning, good storage up top here. Right? Bed with storage underneath it again. Bed yep. with storage. Big storage there. Your garage is underneath there. No access to the uh, fresh tank or anything. Nope. There's no water pumps underneath this one here, which is okay. Plenty of room. So stuff in that uh, outdoor garage, when it gets too far, you can't reach it. You gotta lift the bed up to get to it there, right? <laughs> Nice size fridge, or we just uh, twelve volt, twelve volt. Yeah. Okay, so, so they they must have switched, and that they're not doing uh, 
dual dual fuel no, fridges they're, anymore, right? Because they're putting that solar panel on there, so you know when you when you're just operating, you know this 12 volt, it'll operate off that solar too. Okay, so. okay. Now, is this one going to come equipped with solar all the time? Are yep. all the LTVs coming equipped with solar? 100 watts. Okay, yeah. perfect. That's nice. I uh, got a two burner here. The, the, the previous couple of years, they switched to the 12 volt just because of the efficiency. A little okay. More efficient uh, in, the, in the in the short term, especially in the solar panel too. Uh, when you're looking at the propane and the electric, you're seeing kind of issues and stuff like that. Yeah. So definitely, that's why a lot of the, a lot of the smaller units and stuff like that switched over to strictly electrical 12 volt. Okay. Now don't jinx us because we got that. We got the propane. <laughs> oh, no, I'm jinxing. Right back here. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. 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 Above cabinet storage here, which is nice. There's a plug up top. I'm assuming we can put a microwave in just like the last time. Take yep. the door off, right? Put a microwave in there. We got power up in there. Okay. So people have been trying to incorporate them into that space too. Okay. So Which wouldn't be, that would be a great idea. You either or. Measure. You have to measure for that yeah. one. Though. Gotcha. Yeah. Either or. You can, again, you can either put a door, you can put some netting up here, yep. put a microwave in there, do a lot of different things for storage. Because that's, again, the main thing when you're camping is where am I putting all this stuff? Good storage there. We got storage underneath here as well. Mm -hmm. Great storage under there. Got a drawer. We got our heat system there underneath the sink, which again was sorry, which again has been great with Sunset Park. With and a lot of people when they come into our camper, it's it's the sink. Yeah, they say, man, look at that sink. sink. It's not a small sink. It's not mm -hmm. you know uh, split. It's a nice giant sink. You can pots in there. You can get whatever you need in there. Wash things. Do what you got to do. Um, beds comfortable. Same setup kinda as the thirteen, which we did already. Put some storage over here as well. Overhead storage, get your netting, get your baskets, put those things in there. Right? And one of the nice things too, with a smaller unit like this, I'm 6'3". Yes. Uh, some of the smaller yeah. units you get into, I'm, I'm hitting my head. This one, I still have a few inches, so just to give you an idea for anybody that's 6'3", oh, yeah. or a little bit taller than that, how much room you have. Plenty of head space there. Uh, let me see back here in this go bathroom ahead. here. Come on, Sheriff Bear, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Standard bathroom. Got your mirror. Got some storage. We're going to get one of these here. Yes, we are. You got your toilet. This is not a wet bath. There's plenty of room in here, right? That's it. What do you think? I this like is it. nice. Yeah, I do like it. It's this is nice. nice. And this is the bunkhouse. Now, Sherry really liked the... Uh, rear bath I did. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. which they don't have here which they can get so if they don't have something they are we have we have two rear baths here oh you do yeah okay yeah. they do have they mm -hmm. just didn't pull those those ones out mm -hmm. but if you do call if you do come down here if they don't have it understand they deal with sunlight sun ray they can get anything that you want correct yeah, we can get anything it doesn't matter what it is whatever Sunset it is park Irby. that's right um we got our fuses down here come on there we go right and our breakers. This is a nice unit. Here we go with our control panel. With our awning control, our gas, our water pump. We got our solar here. Got the outdoor lights. Got the awning. This is nice. I it's like nice. it. Mm -hmm. What do you think? And I'm not sure about... If you had foldable bikes, you could probably get them through the door and work space back into here to be able to store some mm -hmm. folded bikes. Okay, but bikes like ours, we wouldn't be able to get those in here, I don't believe. Mm -hmm. You know, you might be able to get it to turn, but it'd be it'd be a tough sell to get that in here. Sherry, would it's worth a try. That's <laughs> it's what worth I'm saying. Sherry. Sherry's like, it's worth, it's I Sherry think it saying, might actually. It's worth me trying. Yes. Like she watches me struggle. <laughs> Outside propane hookup, nice size awning. Well, we got eight foot awning here probably or so. Yeah, that's uh, one. that one's like a ten foot. Ten actually. foot awning. Okay. Uh, we got power here. Obviously, again, like we said, we got the propane jacks all around yes so you got your your four uh, stabilizer jacks there okay 20 pound propane up front mm -hmm. uh, we got the drill assisted jack as well you can either hand crank or use the drill with the jack which is going to be the same size as your jacks over there you got the sh oh, you got the shut off for your battery here which mm -hmm. is nice when you're not using it here is the hopefully we're open yep here's oh, yeah. the garage Everybody likes to call it a garage. I don't like that term, but that's what they call it, <laughs> is the garage. Have you even heard basement? Yes. Basement, I mean, yes. Pit wheels too, right? Right? Yeah. yeah. Yes. Um, we got antenna hookup. We got power. 
I mean, this is another thing that that we're missing on ours is mm -hmm. you have your your lip for your uh, getting on the roof. Total yeah. walkable mm -hmm. roof. Yeah. Okay, so you can hook your ladder up here, get up to the roof. You know, check your uh, seals and everything. Do some service work up top there. Got your air conditioner. Got your power. Uh, 30, 30 amp. 30 amp. Yep. So and this will uh, retract right back in as well. You can just you know. Put oh it yeah. In there. Yep. And then it's it's super easy on a rainy day. You can even you know have it closed. Okay. Or you know, super easy. Good. Uh, got the black. Got the gray. Do we know of the size tanks on these guys here? I can certainly get you that information. Okay. I'm not gonna. Okay. Not gonna lie to you. Okay. Do some research. <laughs> we trying to get you some of that information, but yeah. you had to do a little bit of research. Okay? <laughs> I'll have in the description. Give me a call. That's right. That's right. Outside shower in the back. Water heaters in the back. Um, uh, Fresh water, city water in the back, spare tire, full size spare. It's a beautiful night. It's a beautiful camper. It is. It's a nice camper. Got oh, camera exactly. prep up top. If you guys want to put a rear camera on this All guy, all of them will be backup camera ready. Um, okay. So if you did want to install a backup camera, it's it's super easy. You take out that middle marker light, and there's going to be a few wires there. You can certainly uh, install that camera with. Okay. Okay. So. This is a nice unit. Mm -hmm. Got the awning out. It looks beautiful. I can see myself out camping in this guy right here, <laughs> right? Yes. With a couple of friends, get these guys out. That's what we got to oh, yeah. do. <laughs> That'll be our challenge. Yes. Get these guys. Oh, it, it won't, it won't <laughs> take a lot. Yeah. It won't take a lot. You can meet us at the campground. Yeah. Bring one of those campers. A couple of beers and we're in. <laughs> <laughs> so this, this model here, so this is the bunkhouse, guys, right here. 19 BH. Yes, sir. This one here again, 19 rear kitchen, RK, correct? Mm -hmm. Different layout. Uh, same probably towing capacity yeah. and weight. Um, three different floor models, floor plans, same price. That's what's good about this. Let's go take a look at this one here. Right away, I like this one. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Because if you do have to come in and wash your hands, if you don't have an outside kitchen, I'm an outside kitchen guy, we're talking about that again. But if you do have this, it's nice and easy accessible. You're right here. You're not muddying up the whole camper. You kick your shoes off, do your deal, and get right back out there to cooking, okay? Right here again, same kind of storage capacity, same system where I assume you can take a door off, install a microwave. If they don't have a microwave, we can put one in here. Also have open space here above the fridge, which can do the same thing. We're going to have to measure again to make sure we can get a, our correct microwave to fit inside of there. In this one specifically, it doesn't have an outlet up here. So you're gonna have to put the, the microwave here. Okay. And then you would then take this door and put okay. it right here and you have to Thank maintain you. your. Thank you. See, that's why I'm, I'm never really a salesman. I'm just well, out you're, here. You're trying to take his job, I think. Well, we're just talking. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. <laughs> just we're having fun. Like you. <laughs> we're walking through it, right? <laughs> what do we have here, Austin? This so, guy here. So this right here actually is a speaker. We uh, we took it out because, uh, you know, just, just in case somebody gets sticky hands or something. Oh, gotcha. You know? <laughs> gotcha. But yes, you will get a Bluetooth speaker okay. there. I'm searching in the back right now for it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, got our solar controller, got all of our controls right here. Gray tank, black tank, fresh tank, battery. Uh, it's got everything, your awning controls. This is a little different bathroom than we're used to, huh? Oh, I this like is different, this. huh? With a sink in the bathroom. Yes. You know, which is nice. I do like this. Kind of spacious, let me see. Oh, and this it's is right nice. here by the. You know, you just come right in here. You can do all your, your duties. Mm -hmm. No pun intended. <laughs> okay. Oh, boy. And then we do have a nice pull-out bed right here. If you're bringing the kiddos. I'm over here. If you're bringing the kiddos, right? This is nice. Let me sit down and see. Now I've been working. It's comfortable. It no comfy. recline on this, right? No, this does not, um, but this is actually the Bluetooth speaker that you will be getting with this. Oh, nice. Okay. So, Linear series. Yeah. Just, okay. Now, I'm going to say, this is comfortable. So, you can just get a little ottoman. You can. You know? This is comfortable. I like this. Let me get back up. <laughs> well, so if, I, guys, if I stay down there long enough, I might, might be able to get back up. <laughs> say that three times. Good storage here. And we do have power inside there in case you want to put something in there. This is a nice bench. So what will we utilize this guy for? This is awesome right here. That's a nice little coffee bar. Okay. Yeah. Turn your dinette because there are stools underneath the bed. Oh, oh nice. And it comes okay. with the stools. Comes okay. with the stools. You set up shop right here. You can you know also you know eat right there as well. Yeah. Or if you want to relax there and eat there, 
More power to you. Gotcha. You can I work like from this. here. Get your laptop. You can work from here. Look at this. Yes. You got a nice view. Campsite. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. We nice have a uh, digital thermostat, which mm -hmm. is nice. Storage under the bed. Yes. Let me see if I can do this. You guys remember that video, Sherry? <laughs> the bed? Yeah. This is nice. That leads to your basement or garage, whatever you guys want to call it. <laughs> same system. Same system yeah. right here. Okay, for storage purposes, keep some pillows, keep some extra things up there. Okay, TV backer. Looking like I can get a little bigger TV here. If you want a 32-inch TV, looks like it'll fit. Got some storage over here as well. With the clothes bar. I don't know if we ever talked about the clothes bar, but it is in there. Mm -hmm. This is a nice unit. So Sherry really likes the rear kitchen. The rear bath. The rear bath. Yes. And we may go look at one possibly. Yes. Okay, but let's go outside and take a look and see what else we got out here. I mean, I do like this one too because of the sink in the back. This is convenient. You have the same size awning out here as you do on the the uh, 19 bunkhouse as well. Okay. So well, it looks like it's a 10 by 6, 10 by 8, mm -hmm. something like that. Nice size awning. Uh, propane hook up in the back here for your grilling purposes. Okay, four jacks. Probably same 20 pound propane tank. Yep. Same situation with uh, outside shower, correct? You're correct. Garage, uh, same unit with the jack, mm -hmm. being able to use the drill, yeah. and the jack, and the uh, stabilizers as well. Super easy. No more cranking. Just sit there with the drill, <laughs> zip, zip, zip. You're That's down. That's right. That's right. Ready to camp. 19 RK, Myers RV. If you guys are near Madison, Ohio, if you guys are in Pennsylvania, if you guys are in Indiana, wherever you're at, yeah. okay, if you want to California. Feel, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. If, you're, if, you're, if you're coming from California, they better be we giving you a deal. Oh, we did it. Okay. We sold a motorhome out there uh, what, in January. Okay. Yeah, so. And you guys, are, you guys aren't just here in Madison. You guys have other locations. We're, this is our first location here in Ohio. We are from Ohio all the way to Maryland. Okay. So we got from Maryland, um, and then we also have one down in West Virginia as well. So okay. Okay. We have 15 total locations. Good, so if you guys are near them as well, okay, we would love for you guys to come to Madison, but if you can't make it here, go to those other dealers, they'll be able to take care of you. Do all the dealers deal with Sunset? park as well not all of them okay. um certain franchises are a little territorial okay but uh no matter what we can we can figure something out for you wherever you're at okay perfect sounds good so in a future video we are going to try just like we did with the 13 to try to get some special pricing on these 19 we're not going to push them yet we're, we're, we're going to see how that goes and we're going to we're going to get this 19 going for you guys as well you guys let us know which one you guys like which ones you'd like to see with the deal and we're going to work on it for you okay all right. Thanks, guys. Thanks, guys. Right. See Thank us. Guys. Absolutely. Thank you, guys. No Appreciate problem. it. Absolutely. Pleasure. Thank you, guys. Yes, yes, Thank you, Sherry. Thank yes, you. Sir. All right, guys. We're back. Uh, thanks to Craig. Thanks to Austin. Showing us around. Uh, letting you guys know what Sunset Park RV has to offer here at Myers RV in Madison, Ohio. If you guys need a camper, you guys come see these guys. They're going to take care of you. Um, so, like we said, <laughs> looky, looky. They gave a special pricing again on the 19, and I believe this is for all models of the 19 LTD. Okay, this is going to be 16240 bucks. Okay, you call these guys, let them know that you saw the video. Chuck and Sherry sent you. You'll get that exclusive pricing. Let them know you want a 19 LTD. At that price, you're going to get it. Um, we will come up and see you, meet you, Yep. do the party dance. And I got to do this here. So total, we're going to do the weights on these things, okay? And they, they vary a little bit. I'm not going to do all the weights. I'm not going to do all the weights. I just want to see a couple key things, which is water capacity. Water capacity is going to be 26 gallons. Uh, gray water is going to be 33. Under RK, it's only 28. And the black water is going to be 28 for all three models as well, okay? Awesome. So if you guys are looking for a 19 LTD, come here, Myers RV, Madison, Ohio. Uh, tell them Chuck and Sherry sent you. Thanks to Jim for Thank all you, you did yes. inviting us out here. We appreciate you. Um, and you guys, we'll see you next time. All right. Safe travels.